Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a new segment we're going to do every week. We talk about Tesla hot topics, popular things that are going on in the Tesla community that you generally ask me on Twitter. You ask me on YouTube and I'm going to address those on a weekly basis and give my thought, my two cents, maybe some insider insight into why they're doing certain things, why things are happening and when they're going to happen. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Today's hot topic we're going to talk about is going to be the Tesla user interface, specifically the visualization, the instrument panel on the Model S and X, or the visualization side of the touchscreen on the Model 3 and Model Y. Over the past couple of months, Tesla has been modifying this area, trying to find a happy medium between what they think is going to be uh, usable in terms of full self-driving visualization versus what owners actually want. For this video, I'm going to stick with the Model S and Model X UI because that's the one where it's most impactful because the 3 and Y have a larger screen. It's not as of a big of a deal uh, as it is for the Model S and X where the instrument panel, instrument cluster is right in front of you. So this was the original UI that Tesla introduced. It's been the mainstay for a while and has very bold fonts for the speed, the active speed. It has bigger larger readable fonts that you can see looking directly or see with your periphery for the time, the temperature, the gear selector, etc. And this is how it's been for quite a while. However, recently as Tesla is testing out full self-driving and getting ready to launch that wide, they've made an adjustment. They've made a change to the UI from this to now this. Okay, this is the new UI that they've introduced in one of the later up software updates and it makes everything a little bit smaller, trying to make space for the other things that they're gonna be showing on the screen in terms of visualization for full self-driving. The speed has gotten smaller and it's also gotten a little bit thinner. It's not as bold as it was before. The gear selector has moved, the time and temperature and the fonts for the gear selector have all been decreased to again, make some space for that full self-driving visualization. Now, Tesla being the great company that they are, it's great that they can get feedback from owners and there's been an outpour of feedback from the owners who say that, hey, you know what? This font is just too small. It's hard to see when you're driving. Uh, so forget about full self driving where you're not actively driving. Think about when you're actually driving the car. Uh, it's too small. The font is the font weight is too thin and it's just generally hard to see uh, prompting people to put on glasses or have to stare harder at the screen, which takes their attention off of the road. But again, Tesla being great and listening to their customers has made an update even beyond this one where they sort of bought back the larger fronts so it's easier to see while you're driving. Okay, so now Tesla, from my perspective, I think you need to realize that when you're driving a car, it's important to see what you're looking at in terms of your readout, your speed, speedometer, uh, gear, things like that. But you also need to be able to see it while you're looking at the road through your periphery or looking directly at it. And I think that's what's important. Uh, what they didn't do with this latest update is they did not uh, bring back the font weight of the speed itself. They made the speed larger, but it's still a relatively thin type of font, not the thicker font that it was before. Now, here's again the shot of the original uh, speedometer and the way that the visualization was laid out and, and the iconography was laid out here. And here's where we are at the latest and greatest, where they sort of brought it back to a larger size, maybe even larger than before, but it's not as bold. It's not as punchy. And again, then harder to see when you're talking about seeing it through your periphery. So I think Tesla's trying to find its way. They're trying to find the best ways to accommodate what they're looking to do, where they're gonna go from a driving mode to a full self-driving mode or an autonomous mode. And they wanna be able to put content in places that they think will be valuable for owners to be able to see depending on the mode that you're in. I totally get it. Uh, but again, this is a good shout out to Tesla because they are listening. They do hear what owners say and they can make immediate uh, changes on the fly through software updates to accommodate what the masses and what the people want, not just what they think is best. So it's a good example. I don't know if they're going to change it and make it even different. Uh, my understanding is that right now there will be a different uh, visualization, at least for S and X, where when you go into full self driving, some of these icons change. They move into different positions um, to make it easier for them to display the full self driving information, roads, streets, cars, curbs. Uh, obstacles, things of that nature. Uh, we'll see what that looks like uh, when we actually get it. But 
that's it right now. Tesla's listening. They're hearing what owners have to say. I'm glad they bought back the bigger fonts because the smaller fonts were just pretty bad, pretty hard to see. I uh, would love to, for them to make the font weight a little bit more bolder on the speed itself. Uh, but generally, I think this is a good update. Shows that they're listening. Now the, the icons and the fonts look a little bit too big, but I'd rather them be too big than be too small. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think about this update. If you like the larger fonts, uh, it's the same for Model 3 and Model Y. Uh, it's just not as prominent because they're not trying to fit that information into a smaller screen like the instrument panel on the, on the S and X. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.